I represent the Labour Party. We have made observations. We've craved the indulgence of the Commission to take seriously observation, and it appears that the Commission is not willing to listen to our own observations. It is in this note that we have, as a party, believed in your own statement and in the statement of the Commission, which have been promising Nigerians that you are going to conduct credible and acceptable election through the vivas, which has been acclaimed, which has been said that it is going to be used for the purpose of uploading all the results. As it is, most of the results that have come so far were made observation. From the one that we have even declared here, we observed over voting. And we have received from our own agent that the upload from the papers has not been taking place. So we therefore are not going to accept what we are presenting to us here. This is the position of the Labour Party. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Ina Okopi Agu. I'm the National Secretary of the African National Congress. I'd like to refer us to the Electoral Act 2022 as amended. Section 64, subsection 61%. Can refer to 64. Yeah, section 64, subsection 4A and B. With your kind permission, I'll read. It says a coalition officer or returning officer at an election shall collate and announce the result of an election subject to his or her verification and confirmation that a a, num a number of accredited voters stated on the collated results are correct and consistent with the number of accredited voters recorded and transmitted the keyword there is transmitted directly from polling units under section 40 subsection 2 of this act as amended. B, the votes stated on the collated result are correct and consistent with the votes or results recorded and transmitted, keyword again, directly from polling units under section 60, subsection 4 of the act as amended. Now the point is, when I stood up the other time, the point we raised was that any scope that comes here to share and give Nigerians results from their state, you must demand from them. If these results they are uploading or they are giving to us here had been uploaded before presenting to Nigerians, this is a simple thing that we want. So that it is consistent with what the Electoral Act has requested the Commission to do. I don't know if this makes sense. Thank you very much. My name is Mega Ihedio.
Mr. Chairman, I can proudly say that I'm a person of high standing in our society. I've been a legislator for 12 years. I was a presiding officer. Mr. Chairman, I was elected by my people as their governor. Mr. Chairman, I understand the process and procedures. I'm a person who values the integrity of our system. And transparent. I have been in contact with several agents of our parties across the country. Now, the fact is that results uploaded from polling units in a number of states are not what is being collected. Now, we've had incidents of hijack, we've had incidents of result writing, we've had incidents of manipulation. It makes sense that we interrogate these processes so that we, at this point, if a result is collected and we accept that those results are okay, then it's good to go. If we do not interrogate this process at this point, then it means that our business here has undermined the process. Now, Mr. Chairman, I plead with you to appreciate the point we've raised and take some time to look at this so that the integrity is sustained. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for this uh, opportunity. Um, I want to actually refer the commission because we have so much confidence, we from the political parties, we have so much confidence in your leadership. And we know, as a matter of fact, we've been engaged with a lot of quarterly meetings, we have discussed a lot, and we believe you want to give Nigerians the best. And the greatest thing you can do for us is at the end of the day, let Nigerians, the votes that Nigerians casted be what be what will be declared. I am very much aware that section 65 of the Electoral Act, I know this commission has powers for review. If there are states, for instance, where there are discrepancies, I know section 65, subsection C, that has to do with declaration of scores of candidates and the return of a candidate, provided that the commission shall have the powers within seven days to review the declaration and return and return where the commission determines that the said declaration and return was not made voluntarily or was made contrary to the provisions of the law, regulations and guidelines and the manual for election. Sir, please hearken to the cry and the voice of political parties which I know and we trust you. Don't look at any pressure. We know you can handle this. After all, when forces we are trying to remove your sign I will stood by you. And we believe you can give Nigerians the best. If there are areas where there are discrepancies, I know you have the powers to review. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Inkem Okando, agent for ADC. Um, Mr. Chairman, I've actually listened to my colleagues and I want to urge and plead. Since it is obvious that the, um, the results, most of them have not been uploaded on the polling unit according to the electoral law that we just read, I want to appeal that we adjourn this session to maybe 24 hours to enable um, the state people, the state collection officers, to upload all their pulling unit results so that we can proceed. Thank you. Good day, Mr. Chairman. I still represent APP. Chinamelova is my name. It is um, surprising that political parties who are supposed to be fighting now are in unison saying the same thing. Not just surprising, but fundamental. There is no point progressing in error, Mr. Chairman. We are racing to nowhere. This election started on Saturday. Today is almost over. I insist, in line with my colleagues here, that we get it right. Let us get it right before we proceed with the collation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dino Belaya, PDP. Mr. Chairman, I said the voice of the people is the voice of God. Those of us who spoke from this angle, 
are representatives of the political parties that participated in this election. And it is only responsible for INEC to listen to us. When you made your presentation earlier, you made it look as if agents are just here to rubber stamp whatever the um, between officers are presenting. Because you said you passed that stage, it's at the stage of um, ward pulling units. But the provisions of Section 65 have already mandated you, because you are also a returning officer in this election. It's just the difference is that they are returning officers from the state and you are returning results for the presidential election. And the provision of Section 65 is very, very unambiguous and is clear. And it is that you have the power and capacity to review results here. And you cannot review results if there are no agitation of infractions from the political parties. And that is what we are saying. That we cannot move forward except the law is respected, except the promise you made to Nigerians. I have just done a little research. You have promised Nigerians 68 times that beavers will work. And my brother, Barista Fessos Okoye, after I checked using Google Machine, I promised Nigeria 118 times that beavers will work. We want to see it work and working by going to the portal to see all these results. It worked in Edo, it worked in Osho, it must work in this presidential election. We cannot proceed with computation or collation of results when we don't, we cannot see the confidence we have in this electoral act is the introduction of the electronic transmission of results. If that is not done, then there is no difference between what we are doing now and what we did in 2015 because what you are doing is practical manual collation. That means the billions of taxpayers' money, including mine, that was spent on the issue of beavers and transmission of electronic results is wasted. And we should not be wasters. We want a categorical response on this issue of uploading results. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, my name is Nzi Frank White. I represent the APP. Mr. Chairman, last Saturday, Nigerians trooped out in their mass in millions because of the confidence that the electronic transmission of results put in them. They came out and, you know, it was so massive that so many of them left what they're supposed to do. Those days of playing football in the streets were not seen on Saturday. Mr. Chairman, the integrity of this process will stand undermined if the electronic transmission that my colleagues here have requested is not guaranteed. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, first, I will seek a clarification. Do we speak as individuals or we speak for the parties? A situation where two persons are speaking on behalf of a party. I speak for APC and I will not think after I've spoken for APC, my colleague should also get up to say he's also speaking for APC. We are not, in my opinion, in the debates. I will also correct the impression when it was said that the political parties are in unison. We are not in unison with, excuse me, Mr. Senator Melai and right to with all respect, kindly let me speak. We are not in unison with them. A lot has been, a lot of law has been procured, preferred, and quoted here, most especially Section 65, which says 
the Commission shall have the powers. These powers have been conferred on the Commission by statute, and it is the discretion of the Commission to exercise its powers as it deems fit and not whether we demand it or we want to proclaim or dictate it. Second reason, the same section has gone forward that a decision of the Torian Office under subsection 1 may be reviewed by an election tribunal. And I think if we are not satisfied, like has been rightly said, the whole world is watching this process. We should let the process run its course. Like has been rightly observed, there were elections in other places, some of which have been contested in the courts. Why is this being made to be different? Let the results be presented. And just to add, that the provision of section 66 of section 4 that is now being misrepresented here says upload from polling units. But we are not here to debate whether it was uploaded or not. That cannot be reviewed here. So my appeal is for the Commission to proceed with its constitutionally constitutionally constitutional duty and make the results available. If we are not satisfied, we will approach the election track. And that is what we are praying for, Mr. Chairman, that like you proceed and do the needful and exercise the powers by both the Constitution and the electoral so we can take necessary steps as we may deem fit. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, any more? Yes, Mr. Chairman. My name is Zafanaya Gisando. I represent NRM. Mr. Chairman, I have been in the Parliament to also make the law and also make the, the electoral act. Like my senior colleague said, I make a door. A door. The law is there. The art is there. And just like the section of 65 said, the power is given to the INEC to conduct this election. And election process has been laid down from the polling unit which all of us went around to vote. And then after they are count, counted, the members were there to know the number of people, the agents were there, not the police. And from there, the process is also there to go to the local government headquarters. This thing we are done. And then subsequently move to the world, move, move to the state. And in the state level, all this thing we are checked. And I don't think that there was any problem in other. All this thing has been addressed right from there. Coming here, coming here to talk on this issue, we are contrary to some of the some of the agents that are saying uh, whatever they mean, we should not derail this transition. We should not dream to deceive Nigerians on what is happening. What has come here is a writing that has been done. Mr. Chairman, 
My name is uh, Clement Ojuku. I represent the Labour Party. Sir, this is democracy. And we have spoken on behalf of our people. As we have promised Nigerians before today that our phones are going to count. In addition to that, you told us, or you told Nigerians, that our result will be transmitted electronically. It is not too much to demand of you to fulfill your promises. Again, remind those that uh, is telling you of your supreme powers. Tell them you are not a military officer, but you are a leader of uh, democracy in this country. Please, kindly do the needful by telling the coalition officers from the state to first tell us how these results were transmitted before now. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Uh, Chairman. Okay, Mr. Chairman, oh, my name is Bame Ibinieno, the agent for Young Progressives Party, YPP. I don't want to be seen to be taking sides on the side of anybody, but on the side of the law. I want to state that this is a fifth level of coalition. The first was at the polling unit, then at the ward coalition center, then local government coalition center, then the state coalition center before coming to this coalition center, which is the fifth. And I think if there was any issue that should have been raised concerning transmission of results or whatever, they would have been tackled at those stages by our agents, which we had at all the various levels. I think what we are doing here is not in tandem with what ought to be done. I think that this process should be allowed to go since we couldn't tackle whatever problems, issues we had at the earlier levels, then if this process is concluded, we have the election petition tribunals that could handle whatever problems uh, that are being raised here. I think the INEC at this stage now should be allowed to go on with the election. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very Chair, much. Chair, can I make a, a quick remark? Ah. Chair. Chair, the, please, please. This is... Uh, no, I'm, I know I'm not a politician and I don't intend to be one. But we all have a stake and we all have a voice. Let me appeal to our politicians, respected individuals, to please calm down. The soul of this nation is in this hall today. And any individual that inflames this nation and creates chaos, history will not forgive you. I appeal to you all. Every one of you have a very important point, and you have laid it down. Please, I don't also think in the Electoral Act that politicians have a right to stop this process. I don't like what has happened as an individual, but let's respect the law and let the law take its course. And you have every right to challenge the outcome. Please, my brother Dino and everybody, Becca, please, on behalf of the entire nation, we are please asking you please to calm down, let us have this process, and then we, civil society, will back you and challenge whatever it is. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. We have heard everything that you have said. But I'm going to comment on three issues. The first one, which was the starting point of all this lengthy conversation, is over the allegation of overvoting in the result presented yesterday from Ikiti State. 
what is overvoting? Where the total number of votes cast is higher than the number of accredited voters. Based on the original of the document signed by party agents at state level and the spreadsheet before me, there was no overvoting in the Kitty State. The total number of accredited voters is 315,058. That is what is in on the authentic document. Any other figure that shows anything at variance with this did not emanate from the Commission. We provided a detailed breakdown of the scores by political parties across the board. Towards the end of the spreadsheet, we provided three columns. The first column is total valid votes. And that is 308,171. Total rejected votes, 6,301. Total votes cast, valid or rejected. 314,472, which is actually lower than 315,058. Let me recall. Total number of accredited voters, 308. Total votes cast, both valid and invalid. 314,472. That is no overvoting. When you compare the total number of votes cast and the number of accredited voters, if there is anything, you may actually say that, that, that there was undervoting, not overvoting. I repeat myself once again for clarity. If there is any figure, different from what I have presented and what came from the manual forms completed by the state coalition officer for the presidential election for making the state. Please discountenance that figure. It did not emanate from the commission. I saw some postings on the social media to the effect that the equity election result was published on the 20th of February five days ahead of the election. And what is the evidence? They took the result presented yesterday and took the total number of registered voters for AKT State and concluded that the results were prepared several days before the election. All Nigerians will bear me witness that here in this hall, we presented the hard copies of the total number of registered voters in Nigeria on state-by-state -state basis and the number of PBCs collected. And that information, as we speak, is on the Commission's website. So if anybody is trying to be clever by half, by taking figures from somewhere and saying, oh, these results were published or released ahead of the election. That one can only pass for fake news. And I'm sure that we are responsible citizens not to fall for fake news. So my first response is that for the election results presented for AKT, there was no overvoting. Overvoting means the total number of votes cast is higher than the number of accredited voters. The number of accredited voters is in this particular case higher than the total number of votes cast. So that's my first response. My second response is are the figures consistent
from what transpired at the polling units and what was uploaded or ought to have been uploaded to the IRF portal, I am satisfied that the figures on this spreadsheet emanated from the process that transpired at the polling units. The polling units are the only places where citizens vote. Whatever you do thereafter, it's just collection of results. And we have provided the vote scored by each political party. However, if any political party believes that the figures they have from the hard copies of the results given by their polling agents at the level of collation, that the figures are inconsistent with what has been provided on the spreadsheet that we projected yesterday. I would like that political party to forward the information to the Commission so that we can speak on the basis of facts. I like the suggestion then that the Commission has power under the Electoral Act to review results. But that power is contingent upon one procedure. The process has to be concluded first before you can then talk about power to review. I want to assure political parties that any evidence that you have of any alleged wrongdoing at any level of the process, whether it's at the polling unit or at collection level, please forward this information and I promise you as soon as the process is concluded, we will then do the review as provided by law. On this note, I beg you to, for us to proceed with the process. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, now that uh, we have established calm, we can calmly proceed with the process and conclude in the best interest of our country. So may I invite the resident electoral commissioner for Ogun State to present, or to introduce himself, and for the state coalition officer for the presidential election for Ogun State to similarly introduce himself and present the result from Ogun State. The resident electoral commissioner. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. My name is Olani Ijalai. I am a resident in the Electoral Commission of Kainak and the States. Thank you very much, distinguished chairman. My name is Professor Kayo the Ademwale, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Kansas. And I'm the State Commission Officer in the Presidential Election. 25th of February 2023. The result, the result for the presidential election held on the 25th of February 2023 in Ogun State are uh, as follows. Total number of registered voters. Total number of registered voters. Two, six, eight, eight, three, zero, five. Two, six, eight, eight, three, zero, five. Total number of active voters. 
Thank you very much, Prof. and Scott, for open state. Were there places where election was not held or uh, the outcome of the election cancelled? There were places where we have cancellation. They have been compiled. The respective forms, which is said to see 40G, was filled. During the state police exercise yesterday, they were all displayed. And the reason, the reasons for the cancellation ranges from overvoting. There are some that voters refuse to use the BV, uh, BVAS, BVAS. And also there are some that were destruction some uh, problems on thoughts came, but they did not cut away with any election material in any of our police stations throughout our state. Okay, thank you very much. Party uh, agents, any comments or observations to the scope? Okay, please submit your result. Thank you very much, Cope. And the original handwritten completed for ECAD has been duly countersigned by agents of political parties present during state relations in the Thank you. Thank you. Your collection secretariat, uh, what state is next? Oyo Wise Ramon Taylor, the resident electoral commission. Oyo?
So right, please introduce yourself and the scope should introduce yourself and present the results for Oyo State. My name is Dr. Tela Adeni Abdurama, Resident Electoral Commissioner of Oyo State. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I am Professor Olu Shola Balatunekeinde, the Vice Chancellor, Federal University of Agriculture, Abe Okuta, and the State Coalition Party for the Presidential Election in Oyo State. Thank you, sir. Four 
your state are as follows. Total number of registered voters, 1485146. Total number of registered voters, 1485146.
ZLD407. Total number of valid blocks 378397. Total number of valid blocks 378397. Total number of rejected blocks 18934. 18934. Total blocks asked 397 331. Total blocks asked 397 331. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Any polling units? Uh, elections for the Council? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Two, one in FICA. Two, one in FICA. We had three polling units, about 768 voters registered, and total number of PPCs collected, 768, but because of Forty BBL, they couldn't vote. Then we also had Jaku score with LG port of one polling uh, unit was affected. About one thousand, I mean, sorry, one zero seven three voters. There was destruction of polling materials, and because of that, it was cancelled. The reports are attached to the submission here, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you very much. Any comments, any observation? Okay, please step forward to, to submit your result. understand that Enoku State will be ready in the next 10 minutes. So we wait for the next 10 minutes to take Enoku. I also understand that Lagos and Gombe are approaching the building. Thank you. So 10 minutes, we will take Enoku State. Sakamukunza <laughs>